Hello everyone, we are doing our nightly readings. I'm using my Crow deck, my Starman deck, and ending all of it will be with my Shadowscape deck. Because I feel like switching it up a little bit. It's been a while anyway. And I haven't used these for a minute. Well, I've, I've been using them excessively, but I feel like I should use them now. I, I don't really use my crow deck, but it's like, fuck it, I need to use that shit. I have it. They're just really potent. They're like the Toth deck a little bit, right? Just, they have a lot of... Well... They have a lot of energy, I'll say. A lot of power behind them, so it's like pushing buttons a little bit with them, I feel like, but at some point you gotta tame a beast or at least see if you can accomplish that shit. Anyway, for anyone new to this channel, this is an All Signs reading. Welcome, welcome all. Hello, return people. I'm glad you can put up with my bullshit when I'm back on it. I love you all. I appreciate you. Oh dear. So who are we reading for today? Prince of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I don't know why I always say them in that order, because it's Cancer, or Scorpio, Pisces. I guess it's just because of the words. Or whatever. Anyway, for all my peoples, this is an all signs reading. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. It won't work if you don't believe in it. Or maybe it will, and it'll just surprise the fuck out of you. Just boop your nose and go with it, right? If you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below, as well as my Facebook and Instagram. First readings on the house. Everything else comes with the price. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Ah, look at that, the tower. <laughs> and someone feels like they need to fend that shit off, right? With the Seven of Wands. That's interesting. So I'm still thinking about doing like the woke versus the NPC, but I don't like the word woke because woke means you have to be paranoid and always on the lookout for shit. And that's not like it's cool to do that. But if you do it too excessively, you kind of draw that shit in, you know, like you're kind of calling for it or you're so busy, like bringing it forward that, um, it just overwhelms you with its presence. I don't know, like... Like, I, I, I don't like using the word woke, because then people will come up. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people who believe they're woke, but don't realize that they are not. And then when they do get woke, king of wands in reverse in the thoughts and feelings, by the way. Um, it kind of overwhelms them and they ha and they kind of glitch the fuck out. They kind of lose their shit. I actually knew one person who did that for a minute. It was her 18th birthday party. And me, her girlfriend, and her mom were sitting in, I think, her mom's room or her bedroom. One of the two. And her mom says, you need me as much as I need you. And it was literally the fucking killing joke, y'all. She lost her shit in three seconds and then composed herself before she lost her fucking mind but it was like her mom said something and i don't know what triggered it but her brain just snapped and she lost it for a really long time forgetting who she was it was insane really i don't know i just thought of that i don't know the person like the person who i'm talking about like they're like in fucking jail so you know I don't know what the fuck brought them hmm ah the three of swords are in the thought are in the ugh, thoughts and feelings so someone's feeling some shit heartbreak all that stuff right ew we got the five of swords right here as well as the hangman reverse hmm a good combination. It's like someone's wasting time after they hurt somebody. Purposely, mind you. And then we got the king of swords reverse. And the cat came back. It didn't stay away. It was sitting on the porch the very next day. 
The cat came back. It didn't want to roam. Oh. Uh, ending, or the vibration, right? The very next day, it was home, sweet home. A burden. Someone is burdened and it feels like it's taking forever to get the fuck over that shit. That sucks. Alright, crow deck. Their fires. We got the tower. Someone trying to fend it off in their... Like, they tried to fend it off, but it still came. Which is interesting. Um, we got a king of wands right here. Leo said, Aries, remember everybody, check your charts. Because I don't know who you are. I could. If you want to be my fan, but like, don't like talk to me too much. I like my space. A lot of space. <laughs> Let's see, we got the King of Wands, apparently heartbroken. Being all vindictive because he is heartbroken and didn't get his way, right? I feel like this is an Aries. Or someone with a lot of Aries in them somewhere. Like exerting a lot of authority with anger. You know, that's what led to this, where it was like betraying someone knowing they were vulnerable, I feel like. And wasting time being kind of being an asshole like let, let's just call a spade a spade here fuck yeah lisa i'm gonna i'm buying a bunch of skulls i'm gonna give my friends skulls idk look like murder Like, that's the only reason why. <laughs> I'm getting her a Bloodstone Jasper skull, and it's just like, I just got it because it looked like murder, and I think she'd like that. She's a Sagittarius. So. <laughs> oh, I love my Lisa. She's my boo, man. Oh, God, bitch, I'm in the middle of a reading. Like, hold on. Okay, so, like, I feel like this Queerant has been fighting off some... image of themselves like a revelation or like this tower is the very fucking first card which means it's like hitting them or it's just about to hit them jesus christ sorry i'm so distracted but I don't want, I, I don't like leaving people, like, if I'm talking to them in the middle of it, and then I accidentally started reading, like, to just, uh, I don't like leaving people hanging if they, if I'm trying to message them, because it's just like, oh, dude, I need to talk to you. I don't want to make you feel like I'm an asshole or it's something wrong with you, you know? I hate that, like. But anyway, this person's like, they've been fighting off this tower, but it's now hitting them, or it's about to hit them. Hey, Cora, how are you doing, sweet? So, in their thoughts and feelings, they realize they've been uh, kind of bitter and kind of controlling because they've had a lot of trauma, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of issues in their past, right? It's, that's the main focus of why they're a dick, is because they are, their heart is just shattered. Like, something happened to them? Ugh incense anyway but that's the stem of their anger their angst their um ire they, it's like they don't it, it's like they're starting to now recognize that like it's because they feel so much and have so much love that i mean like that's the main cause for anybody being angry they have so much love to give but they have nowhere to give it to and that it, like love and hate are the same thing to me you know, so when you can't give the love out, it becomes bitterness, it becomes anger, it drives you, um, mad for a moment, at least. If you continue with that madness, that's your choice, but you can get out of the madness at any time, right? But until then, it hurts. And there's betrayal here, but it's like... There is a concentrated energy 
of just pain, like... With the hangman, it's like this has happened before many a time, and they've been on that end, but it's like they've almost been on the other side, too. Like, they've done it numerous times because it's happened so many times to them, and they're kind of wasting time being a dick. Once again, they're both dicks. This is a dick of action. This is a dick of words, and someone's saying some really angry shit. This is someone who's making me tear up a little. Because it hurts, like, that bad, I guess. Like, I can relate. I really can. It's just sad that, um... I don't know. It sucks when it happens, man. And I hate people going through anything. tower what was with the tower we have the lovers king of cups diviner sage could be water sign cancer wait no yeah cancer pisces scorpio and then the ten of wands reverse Okay, so, like, this person was in a relationship or some sort of, like, it has the twin soul or some shit on the, uh, lover's card. Reverence, like, adoration for each other. But then there was a king of cups right here who was overburdened by this, uh, connection right here. Could have been with a Gemini. With the seven of wands, somebody's fighting off the eight of cups. They might be shying away from, um, this, they might have been shying away from the tower moment. Um, being the Knight of Cups, trying to, uh, use their charisma and spellbinding techniques to smooth things over. Trying to, um, also fire sign, too. Uh, Leo Sag Aries, so check your charts once again. This parent was really good with words. They had a lot of charisma. They could get shit done. This would normally, in Rider weight be booty card man. So this person has the potential of knowing how to get in people's good graces in order to get what they want from them. Maybe even sex. Right? And then we got the Six of Wands. They were not victorious in something. This is supposed to be the archetype, the victor, but he's not the victor. He's kind of like standing around with these wands being like, what do I do? And then like time ran out and all of a sudden Jigsaw's things just come out and murder this person in a really horrible way. I'm just making shit up so, you know, go with it, right? It's just a show. Um... Like, they walked away from somebody they really cared about fighting off those feelings, thinking that they could, like, talk... It's almost like they tried to talk themselves out of, like, losing something, right? It could have been you. It could have been anything. Depending, really. Let me turn this other light on because it's, like, really dark in the house. Okay. There we go. I'm really glad I can be loud because goddamn, I would not be in bathroom like I really forgot about that. I am like really distracted and I don't know why, but I got lemonade. I actually found lemonade at the store. Brisk lemonade, but lemonade nonetheless. And it's freaking delicious. Anyway, King of Wands reverse in the thoughts and feelings. Someone's been being a bully. Man, child, acting spoilt, um, just acting like you want to do it my way or no way at all, you know, that kind of shit. Kind of annoying. <laughs> I feel like they exert their energy too much into too many different things. Ooh, that was a lot of cards. And when that happens, they get like really irritated. And it's like some love didn't begin with a page of coins expression message um this one was supposed to be rapture and ecstasy but that did not come maybe somebody was supposed to apologize 
And because that apology wasn't given, possibly an earth sign ran away. It was just like, nah. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, right? I got a few cards that are upright. Um, six of swords. Navigate, progress. I feel like someone was a little bit stagnant in where they were moving. Wish and desire. So they kind of came up with this idea that like, oh, I want this to happen. And then it happened and it became something they absolutely hated. Ten of coins, treasure, discovery, something was definitely lost within the wealth right here. Page of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You it kind of... You don't know what you're going to get with them, I'll say. It's like, they're kind of... Like, earth, unearthly, mystical. Like, water signs are pretty intuitive. They could be considered psychic. That's a natural thing for them. But... This person, like, comes out of nowhere with shit, I feel like. Like, look at his expression. He's like... Ah, what's up? Like, you know, he's just got his tongue all out and his mouth open. He'd be like, what are you doing? Hey! You know... King of Swords right here. Domination, mastery. Somebody, once again, this King of Swords is here. But he's down here being a dick. But this way it's like total mental discipline. Like very much able to navigate things through the psyche. Understanding things. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Very aware. But his eyes are, like, narrow, right? He can, like, he can look to the sides. Hi, kitten. What are you doing on the table? Thank you. Um, <laughs> she's going to come up regardless, so. Please don't knock out the light. Okay. But it's like, he, the way his eyes are is, like, narrow. It's like he's only looking one way. So it's like, it's someone who's really sharp of mind, but they only have, like, one certain idea. Hi, kitten. She's right in my face. Hello. What are you doing? I'm trying to read cards, my love. Come here. You get in my lap for a second. There you go. But yeah, he's like, it's like he only has a short sight. It's like he only sees certain things that he wants to see. Are you seriously doing this? Well, thank you for blessing the cards. I appreciate it. And then we got the Magician Reverse. Somebody tried something and it did not work. It's supposed to be a Sorcerer or Alchemist. Somebody who is good with mag with magic, but, um, you know, get down there. If something backfired or it didn't work the way they thought it would, I almost feel like they, someone didn't listen. Can I get a third card, please? Thank you very kindly. The High Priestess reversed. She kept her secrets. So, someone might have uh, ran away once there wasn't any love or apology or some shit like that. They might have ran away to take their investment somewhere and keep their secrets to themselves. This heartbreak right here. Someone's thinking about the past. This is the root of all of this shit, right? Someone might be thinking about something that happened back in the day with somebody else. And how there was a separation and partnership, two of cups, right? But they, I, I feel like they want to bring something else in. Uh, three of cups, fruition, realization. Usually, like they want to try to have a, a good time with this person. And it's like, it's like they think about the good times and they think about this, but they think about the separation first. It's like it's terrible we broke up because. We really did have a good time, but it's made this person bitter that they ran away and, and like ran away with like not really saying anything. So what's this ten of wands right here? I feel like the square it has like I think they really care about the person, but this like worries me as well as the hanged man right here. Uh, Ten of Wands, there is a possible commitment. There also might be a sage or a mentor. Taurus's card. Someone might have been looked at as like a teacher. 
But that was the wrong idea. Powerful. Dynamic. It, it, it did not shift somebody's uh, mind frame. Someone didn't care, I think. I don't know. These cards read so fucking different, man. I swear. But it's so interesting. Yeah, and that caused a bunch of problems. It's like... Okay, so someone was a mentor, but it wasn't clear, and then that caused a bunch of shit? Or somebody was confused or didn't have clarity in what somebody was um, showing or teaching them? Or... And that became a burden? Hmm. Okay. Whatever. This deck is so fucking weird. Mind you, like, usually... these A lot of these would show up reverse. Like, a good deal is for sure, but not as much as what it normally is. I don't know. Like, I did the whole blood ritual with them, so... It, 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 like, I decided to do that with all my cards because it was kind of necessary. Like, unfortunately for everybody else, I'm probably never going to, like, stop reading cards. So, you know. I feel like this parent's sad. Like, really, really fucking sad. Like, they didn't want the separation. But it's almost like they couldn't control themselves when it came down to it. It was like they did, like they had to exert their own authority with the King of Wands, but they didn't really think about their own feelings. And that, like, is like... I don't know, it's like a memory. Five of Swords! Someone was betrayed! Right. Right. Someone was horribly betrayed. Five Swords to the back, right? Um, the Emperor and the Empress. Counterparts right here. Two people in... Definitely two people involved. A bird and a freaking cat. Like, the owl is like, what, uh... Overlord supremacy and the Empress's conception intuition. So one was the one in power and the other one was the one who advised a little bit, I guess. That fell out. That do that totally like just blah. It, it didn't work. So now somebody's wasting time. Hmm. It's like their home fell apart. It's like whatever they created together was just shattered. Nothing bad, though. They're both in their power. Like, it's not that terrible. But it's like they just both... It's like... It's almost like pride. You know, the Empress, she's all about receiving. She's got to receive the Emperor's seed. This was, like, masculine, feminine. If it kind of makes sense about this fallout, right? Because that keeps popping up for some fucking reason. Um... But, it's like a pride thing. Like, treasure, discovery, it's like they both just, I don't know, just decided something. So, somebody's wasting time acting like a page of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like, just snooping. Captivation and entrance, like, trying to find a way in. They're wasting time with that. Because they're not taking a break to restore or rejuvenate with the Four of Swords right here. And their insight and knowledge is limited because of it. Okay, so now it's starting to come up like a little bit reversed. <laughs> hmm. It's like this person wants to know, but they don't know. And they're snooping. But that's just like, why are you doing that? Like, you need a break before you snoop because you're not going to find anything out right now. Hmm. King of the Swords Reverse. We got Death's card. That shit needs to end. Cut that attitude out, Quirit. Please and thank you. That shit needs to die or somebody needs to change their ways and 
become something different. Uh, shape shift, change, Knight of Wands right here. Ooh. Oh, this is Knight of Cups then. Okay, so someone knows how to use their wateriness, right? But someone needs to move. Uh, Knight of Wands is definitely Booty Man, and for some reason it's a pterodactyl. I guess pterodactyls are fast? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of confused by that one, but it's whatever. It can be whatever it wants to be. But I guess pterodactyls are fast. Ooh, got a few cards coming out. Um... Yeah, this person just... Knight of Swords Reverse. Once again, Air Sign. This person is just not doing anything. Oh, I didn't know the hangman was watery. Well, it makes sense for Pisces, but like the other two, I'm not sure. Uh, transcendence, evolve, intent, hunger. Someone's ignoring that because they don't want to evolve or they don't want to move forward. They want to. They don't want to transcend. Okay, whatever. That's up to you, really. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything against you for it, but like you know. Uh, you will not be disciplined or devoted to anything, and you will lose your sense of life or sense of desire for things, your love, your passions with the Seven of Cups. You'll be a little bit more like, ugh, like, I don't want to do this shit. What the fuck do I want to do this for? You know, you like, if you don't take the proper action, Querent, it could, like, fuck up who you are. And I'm not sure if you're comfortable with that or not. You know? What's the last card, please? I actually got two, but I'll take them. We got the King of Coins and the Moon. Um, dedicated, Adamant, Lunacy, and Delusion. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone might be crazy. They might know some things, but they might be crazy. This is usually, like, secrets, um, illusions, shit like that, but, like, um, I don't know. Maybe this dude's nuts for you. Uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo's card. This is Pisces card. Um, this person might be a little bit whack, right? So let's see what the outcome for this querent is, everybody. This is a, this is like a fucking trip down a rabbit hole almost for somebody. They gotta move swiftly to somebody who is the. It's like there was an Earth sign throughout all of this, but then they kept progressing. Like, they went from the page to, like, the king. A big-ass tiger who just lounges around being like, meow. That'd be cool to be a kitty. I'm a cool kitty, I think. I'd be a pretty cool kitty. I wouldn't want to be bothered, but I'll come to you when I want lovin's. I'm that kind of kitty. <laughs> Alright, let's see, y'all. Like, what is the outcome? We got... Someone is definitely feeling a bit like betrayed with the Ten of Swords. But that's because they're ignoring their intuition or they're ignoring a High Priestess or somebody who knows. Maybe a Pisces, right? Here we got the Devil. Capricorn's card. So, could be dealing with a Capricorn right here. Um, who uses their heart as the mechanism of their pain, you know, in order to manifest shit. Or, this devil is just torturing somebody by holding their heart hostage. It could be either or! Really? It, it, it could be either or, but the thing is, it's like the key's on the bitch's wrist, and she could easily get out of this if she notices that the key's there in order to open the lock. So it's not like it's something hard, but it's almost like this person is symbiotic with this devil who's using their emotions and their heart against them in order to create like somebody who will protect them as well that's scary empress reverse someone might be a little bit bitter about that shit and they want to leave without feeling much of anything with the eight of cups but i feel like they would just be drowning themselves Ah, uh, because they are a little bit confused with the Seven of Cups, and then we got the Seven of Pentacles. It seems like nothing they've been investing in is very good. Um, their wish fulfillment is a bit funky. It doesn't come out the way they think it does, so it leaves them not as happy as what they think that they should be. There's still a sunrise, but it's just, it's almost like it's not as much a victory as what they believed it would have been. 
So now they're trying to work on something, or build some sort of web, or develop something with the Eight of Pentacles. Make some connections right here. But they're still not taking a break. They're too worried about being righteous with the Hierophant. That's a weird thing to fucking say. They're be they're too busy being righteous. They're like sitting there like a tree, just being like, eh, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing like that. <laughs> it was just that gangster voice in my head and it came out all fucked up. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I feel like this person's stubborn. I'm sorry, but I do apologize for laughing. My bad, but it was just like they kind of cracked me up a little bit with that. Like, I'm not doing anything. Like, I know I'm <laughs> I know I'm correct. Here's the King of Pentacles again. So the Hierophant might be like, mm, I'm staying stable. I'm staying sturdy. I'm staying in this fucking dirt. I'll manipulate my own shit without this devil over here but then we got the queen of pentacles who feels unrooted by it like this magician's gonna sap her source that's fucked up and it's the counterpart to the king of pentacles so this might be their counterpart this might actually be a divine pairing Nine of Pentacles, someone wants to feel a little bit, um, they want to create their own beauty, I feel like. And they're keeping things close to their chest. Oh. And, but the Page of Pentacles isn't offering anything. They're offering very little right here. Which is just causing everybody just to flop around everywhere like a bunch of foxes for no reason. Uh, five of Wands. Supposed to be conflict. I think this is more confusion and accidentally... Like, friendly fire. Friendly fire. But that gets the wheel to turn. That gets people working together on the similar dreams. And then there's the Knight of Swords who's moving forward into battle. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, that's what I got for the reading tonight, y'all. This has been a very interesting, considering I'm changing cards for a bit, right? So, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, really. It's up to you, but I would definitely, definitely enjoy if you did. I will see you all later. I love you. Bye-bye.